Okay, today we are looking at a congregation of birds, which is our new exhibition here at the Chocolate Church Art Center Gallery in Bath, Maine. We have four artists showing in this exhibition. The first one is Susan Wilder. Her work is done with lino cut and scratch board techniques. Um, the theme of birds was decided on as we were trying to imagine a new world again, post COVID. Um, and I thought that this would be a nice way to have a light exhibition that is joyful and has some new interest. All four of the artists that are in this exhibition are from Bath, I mean, sorry, from Maine, uh, two from Camden, two from the Kenny Bunkport area. Uh, the next artist is Barry Kramer. Her work is encaustic and her theme is feathers. She uses the feathers that she finds on her walks with her dog and she layers imagery of signatures and handwriting and old letters in with her feathers. This next artist is Karina Steele. She does her work in wood and natural dyes. So this is a piece of sculpture she calls a wall necklace that's been dyed with turmeric. Uh, just to give you an idea, some of her other sculptures are her bird mobiles, which she paints. more of Barry Kramer's work here. You can see the feathers, the inspiration. And this one looks as though she's done some stitch work or punching. And some of them have really lovely edges that look almost like they've been carved into the wax. And then back to Susan Wilder's work. Some of it is printed from plates she makes using a lino cut technique. Some of them are scratch board where she's taking away rather than adding to create her images. And here's some more of Barry's encaustic pieces. I especially love this sweet one with the red, it's called red tips, the feathers. Uh, the last artist I have yet to mention is Kathleen Buchanan. These are collagraph pieces. It's a printmaking technique that layers, um, she does in layers, I guess. And she's using the seacoast birds as her inspiration. Another wall necklace by Karina Steele. This one's all in a natural wood. I'd say that's about 20 inches wide, just to give you an idea from hanging from nail to nail. And sorry for the reflection, we have excellent lighting, but not when I'm filming. Uh, here's some more pieces by Kat and a larger feather piece by Barry Kramer. And then on the last wall, we have some crows and herons from Susan Wilder and some more colorful pieces. And one Last wall necklace, this one's dyed with indigo, which is simply beautiful. Two more of Barry's encaustic pieces with some gold leaf laid in on top. And Kat's nut hatches. And then some cormorants, this one's lovely. And the final wall. Here's some more birds. These are Brent geese. And this two magpie piece has already sold. This is a sweet little one, very small, charming. And then our final pieces by cat. Look at that piece. And that's
that's our exhibition for a congregation of birds. You can also see our gallery shop is filling up nicely. We have photographs and watercolors, hooked rugs, some pieces from John Ader, and then we have some wool um, felted work and some wood and then some um, stained glass from Harris Brill here from Bath, Maine. And we have our swag. We have some fun stuff for the Chocolate Church. And Brian Killeen, there's Harris's lovely stained glass, Brian Killeen's paintings. So come on down. We are excited to have everybody coming back in. We're still following COVID social distancing, but we would love to see you. So please come on in. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to one for the moment, and the hours will expand as summer approaches. Okay, so come on in for Congregation of Birds.